America's only source for the bizarre and the unusual, yeah, and um, I'm the king of smut. And he wants this tape. Else? That's right, I do. I'm getting that. It's about some nudist camp tape. Yeah, it's two hours of naked and shameless people, all burning in hell now because this is probably 40 or 50 years old, the material on it. And can I swear? Is this like a show I can't Ooh, swear it's on? It's a basic cable, but you can say hell. All right, hell's nice. Okay. And half of us are going to hell anyway. So, and um, you saw my table and you're familiar with my stuff, and this is the tape that did it for him. Great. And of course, n now Mike has many different genres here. You have the, of course, the um, mass wrestlers from Mexico, which I happen to like a lot. Now, Tell us something about that. How did you get involved with the uh, mass wrestling uh, movies? Well, that whole aspect is just a personal interest from being a child. Uh, when I was a kid, I saw Santo movies and Blue Demon and Mil Mascaris and so, so on and so forth. So as my video company developed, I obviously used material or I used material that interests me. And uh, I, I, I uh, what's the word I want to use? I, the sole source for certain genres of film. I mean, basically, there's other video companies they specialize in dramas, comedies. I specialize in the bottom of the barrel, trash, film that everyone thought was worthless and nobody would have any interest in. It's 1995, and who wants to look at Santo beat up blob monsters from Venus? But we all do, so that's why I exist. Absolutely, and as we all know, the uh, 60s aren't dead. They live at Something Weird Video or coexist anyway with other <laughs> eras. Now, let's come over here and look at some of these great stuff. Pick out something here, Mike, that you would recommend to somebody that's a novelist and wants to get into weird films. What would you recommend? There's so many. I, you know, it's, if you have no problem with naked girls and you like monsters, I'd highly recommend Kiss Me Quick. From the title, you couldn't tell what it is, but it's America's very first monster nudie. It has Frankenstein, Dracula, and the mummy, and dozen or so naked chicks. Can't lose. May I say that you, I ordered it from you and I have that in my collection. I'm very happy with it. Man with good taste. Well, of course. And right here we also have some great foreign movies that people aren't aware of, like The Awful Dr. Arloff. And um, where's that film from Argentina, which I have? Oh, uh, is, is That's it, The Curious. America's favorite film, Curious Dr. Hum. This thing we put out over a year ago, it's from Argentina. The box is broken. Uh -oh. Oh. That's all right. But this came out from, I'll tell you, high quality product here. Uh, <laughs> has a talking brain, has random monsters that no one had ever seen before, naked chicks, lesbians, everything you could possibly want is in this movie. All right. what else? And may I state it was made in a predominantly Catholic country. <laughs> now, are, are those young ladies there the something uh, weird go go girls? Um, one is Jungle Girl. She's a regular fixture at our show here in Jersey. And the other is Lisa, who's one of the, uh, uh, she's basically the art department of Something Weird Video. Great. Great. And now let's look at your fine collection of t-shirts. These t-shirts are for obviously people who wish to be individuals and they want to stand out. Am I correct? Yes. Um, these shirts are basically just designed to please and to please and to offend virtually everybody. So particularly parents. So, and it, it's what, the best example is warning. Show them warning, get the camera on the warning, zoom into that, read it, oh, and that's... Oh, it's up here. Awesome. Is it, have you a oh. we'll be closing 10 minutes. Oh, we'll be closing in that 10 minutes. warning shirt's the perfect example of an offensive shirt. A giant red warning. Uh, you, you start reading it, and by the time you're down to the word masturbation, you're so offended by the shirt, you can't even look at the guy in the face who has the shirt on. So it's a perfect shirt for something. Absolutely. Is there anything else you'd like to add about your fine quality of work here? Because I know you have, you have every drive-in movie genre, and you know a lot of people are discovering that it's not really trash, though. It's really a, an art form in itself. Wouldn't, wouldn't you say? Uh, I would say this is true Americana. I mean, what we're looking at here is... Um, a lot of movies made with a lot of labor and love and uh, uh, extremely uh, low budgets and these men were up against a million odds. The, uh, the law was always on their tail for what they were making and, and this stuff is the epitome of America in the 50s, 60s and early 70s. That's what, if, we all, if any of you grew up in a drive-in, you would know what uh, this material is. 
That's it. Okay, well, that's great. And right now, before your eyes, I will buy for 20 bucks. That's right, I'm buying this tape. And I don't care who knows it. Called Nudes, Nudis, and Nudism. And here we go. There goes my hard earned 20 bucks. And this is mine now. That's right. And I'm pretty shameless myself. <laughs> so this is a uh, fanboy. And I'm signing off for now, but we'll be back with.